Good evening. Welcome to my laboratory. Uh, I want to demonstrate another uh, nice trigger feature of the Rigol 1054Z oscilloscope. Uh, and I'm going to use the same signal that we've been using before, the pulse train from the perpendiculum over there. And I just have it plugged into channel 2 now, so we get a blue uh, light blue trace instead of a yellow trace. So uh, normally we use the edge trigger and that allows us to trigger on the first falling edge that uh, meets the level and position criteria set by the two cursors. So if I zoom in you can see that that complex pulse train is triggering the scope right there. And the reason it's going back and forth like that is because the, uh, the pulse going one way uh, and the pulse going the other way are not quite symmetrical for some reason on the perpendicular. So we've got a, the pendulum is going left and then right, and that's why you're seeing the fluctuation in the, in the trace there. So at any rate, with the trigger set to the edge, our normal triggering mode, we trigger on the first falling <coughs> edge that meets the level criterion right there. And uh, in the last demo, I showed the use of the runt trigger to make a little trigger window that you could use to select any uh, peak level along this pulse train to trigger on. And on this demonstration, what we're going to do is look at the nth trigger, nth edge trigger which is kind of a really useful function. So we go to the trigger menu and scroll down until we get to nth and select that. And now, you see in this menu we have an idle time and an edge number. And it took me a while to figure this out. The idle time has to be set to a value large enough so that your whole pulse train goes by uh, between the edges that you want to trigger on. Uh, and it started out at uh, uh, 100 nanoseconds or something like that. So fortunately, there's a little keyboard that you can pop up by pressing on the multifunction knob. And that pops up a little keyboard that allows you to enter in um, the desired idle time without having to run around through all of the values there. So uh, I've selected edge now, and there's number one in there. Now the multifunction knob will control the value of that number. And that is the number of the edge that the scope will trigger on. So right now I have it set to one. So it's triggering on the first pulse in that train. Expand it a little bit. So that's the first pulse. Now I'm going to turn the multifunction knob to select the second pulse, third pulse, second pulse, three, four, five, six, so now we're triggering on the sixth pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sure enough, there it is right there. And I can zoom in to that sixth pulse and take a look at it. Seven, eight. 14, 15, 18. So now we're triggering on the 18th pulse of that pulse train. And I can zoom in to expand it and take a look at that specific pulse. 
using the nth trigger from the trigger type menu. All right. That's using the nth trigger mode of the Rigol 1054Z. Thanks for watching.